buddy Josh from SB Reptiles. I'm gonna put a link in the description and stuff. And of course, I got his beautiful anaconda. You guys know that my Ivy and Ariana are super docile, and most of my anacondas that I've ever worked with are really cool. But this particular one is a little bit feisty. Not exactly sure what the problem is with this. This is what a lot of anacondas actually are like. So when people are actually messing with these, this is what they think about when it's an anaconda. You work with these guys, and they can become super, super docile. He's just a little bit feisty. There's no doubt about that. Josh, this thing's a puppy dog. What's the problem? He just snaps a lot. That's it. This guy is definitely starting to grow on me. Now, this one seems to be typically more like Ivy and Ariana. A lot more chill like the anacondas that I love. It's a little bit bigger, and getting bit by something this size is definitely going to be a little bit more, but she doesn't seem like she's a problem at all. Anacondas are so inquisitive. They're so amazing. I literally miss my girls because they are such amazing animals. This is a pretty cool animal here, man. You, man. you are I, really lucky to have it. You know, after seeing yours, I had to take it. You're going to get a chance to really see what a relationship with an anaconda that's not bitey is like. They're so inquisitive. They're so friendly. They're so amazing. I mean, just look at how incredible this animal is. Oh man, I miss my girl Ivy. You guys know Jimmy. This is actually a blue beauty. And you can see, look at the snake right here. He is just keying in on me. Oh, I got the goosebumps. That's what happens when you're about to get bit by a snake. You see his face just kind of puffing up right here. He is ready to go. But look at it. I'm like a snake tamer. For some reason, they don't want to bite me. Whoa, uh oh, I talk too soon. The thing about these animals are sometimes when you handle them with extreme confidence, they really don't bite as much. But you can see again, when he starts keying off, there's that, that mouth open. Oh, there, there he is. These guys come from Vietnam and they're an amazing snake. These are, whoa, not my face, buddy. I don't want to get bit in the old money maker. Got a little bit of blood on me, no big deal. Hey, it's okay, buddy. Look at that snake right there. That is a beautiful snake. Blue beauties are really an amazing animal. You don't see them around that much anymore. You used to see them much more commonly, but for whatever reason, they're just not around. You can see he's just tightening up right now. He's about to strike any second. Just gave me a little love nip. No big deal. Love this snake right here. Missing Jimmy. Take a look at this. This is actually a black pine snake. Really cool animal. These are pituophis, and they could be a little bit feisty. There's no doubt about it. But this is going to one day get about six to eight foot long. And ooh, doggy. Tell you what, this thing is crazy. Let's get it on the ground and see if we can just get it to calm down for us for one second. And typically, once you get these guys up in the air, they actually will calm down quite a bit. They're very cage defensive. That's the difference, right? Snakes typically aren't aggressive. They're defensive. And when he's in his cage, he's like, hey, keep away from me. This is mine. I don't want you to muck with me at all. And now once he's out, he's just kind of chilling out, kind of crawling through my hands. Unfortunately, these guys are now on the endangered species list, meaning that you can't buy them across state lines. So the only way you can own one of these is if you get it from the state that you live in. I'm with Josh here, and he has a beautiful snake named Princess, which is a lavender golden child. And then this is one of the lavender golden child's babies. But this one's a little bit feisty. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, you can see I'm leaking a little bit, but it's okay. I absolutely love these snakes. They're absolutely beautiful. And it's crazy to think that that snake is this snake's mama. And that snake can one day get a lot big. Whoa, calm down, calm down. We haven't named that one, but sure, this name is Spicy. Spicy is a good <laughs> name for this one, there's no doubt about that, but look at how gorgeous that snake is. Look at the purple down its back right here and the orange in that snake. I mean, wow, and boy, it's, uh-oh, uh uh-oh. We just tasted me? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. That's very cute. What do you say we move on to something a little bit more friendly? Now, this is a little bit more my speed right now. Of course, this is a rhino iguana. I miss my girl, Bella, Diddy Dixie. And these guys are always tame. I mean, they love affection. They're amazing animals. So it's always cool to come visit other people's animals. You can obviously see that Josh has worked really hard on this animal because look at how docile it is. Even mine don't like to be held this much. They love pets, but they typically, when you pick them up, they get a little squirrely. So, wow, this is an amazing animal. This is actually a Woma python right now, and it's tit all Oh gosh, that hurts. It's tasting my bracelets right now, but what you don't see is that on the underside, it's, ow, it's in a really tough spot on my wrist. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. this is uh, this is gonna hurt a little bit, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Woma pythons have really strong jaws compared to most snakes. So a lot of times when a snake bites you, it doesn't actually kind of clamp down like this one does. But this one is clamping down, and if anyone's ever had like a tattoo in their wrist area, you know how absolutely horrible it feels to get bit by something like this. The top side isn't so bad, but boy, that bite bottom side right there sunk into my wrist is unbelievably hard. The problem is, is that once these guys chew on you, they don't want to let you go and they're like little bulldogs. You can see that thing is saying like, I am not letting you go. It's convinced it's going to eat my wrist. And I tell you what, this hurts guys. I am not even joking. And there's no real easy way to get this thing off. What I'm going to have to do, try to put her in between my legs so it can't coil on me. Oh, it's starting to, oh, every time it twists, it, you can just feel all those teeth just going right inside me. Oh, like that. Oh, I can't get it off. It's in me. You're almost off. You're almost off. Ow! Feel that skin just ripping. The snake is off now. Oh, that was a little bit difficult. It's in food mode and it wants to bite more, so it's okay, buddy. I still love you. I tell you what, that 
was a painful bite. Josh has so many cool snakes and I absolutely love boa constrictors. This is one of my first snakes I ever owned. Of course, we have two kind of yin and yang animals right here. We have an IMG. And you guys have seen me talk about IMG boas before, increasing melanin gene, meaning that as this gets older, it gets darker and darker to almost a black color. And then of course, this is what they call a princess diamond or a super fire. So it's a black eyed leucistic boa right there. So you've got this solid white snake here and you've got what's gonna be a almost solid black snake. I mean, these things are unbelievably amazing. This is a cool snake right here. This is actually a super dwarf motley golden child annery, but it's a little bit feisty. Teal constrictors actually produce this animal and you can see it is a feisty little monkey. It's okay, buddy. We're friends, right? He's ready to strike a second ago. And whoa, maybe it's gonna strike again. I think we may have made friends with this snake. Oh, not there, not by the jewels, not by the jewels, not it's by the It's a beautiful jewels. snake though. Look at the iridescence on that snake right there. Absolutely wonderful, whoa. Come on. And the thing that's great about super dwarf reticulated pythons is they basically get about this size. So when you think about reticulated pythons getting 20 or 25 foot long, this animal is gonna stay nice and small like this, which is absolutely incredible. Look at the pattern on that thing's head right there. Oh, there it goes. Ah, oh, got me. That's okay. Oh, and that, and that fingertip, that hurts, buddy. Boop. Okay, now we're friends. Oh. Josh, this is amazing, Southern Pacific Rattlesnake. How long have you had it? So I've had this girl for a little under a year. Yeah, she almost tagged me when we were out herping and you know, I have my license and everything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this one. And uh, now we feed her, make sure she's healthy and she's a beautiful rattlesnake. Definitely an animal you do not want to get bit not by because this has neurotoxin, hematoxin, just really dirty venom. You get bit by something like this and it's a nasty, nasty thing. But that's why they have these little buttons on them right there because those buttons tell you to stay away. Listen to that. Wow, that is awesome. I've showed you guys banded our little false water cobra. Well, I keep telling you how big they get. This is how big they get. And they'll actually even get a little bit bigger, bigger than this, you know, so, yeah. so it's pretty cool, but they are amazing. The thing that's great about false water cobras is that typically they're very docile. They're great animals to hold. They do have mild venom, but you can see these guys are just absolutely chill as can be. Have you ever bred these? No, we're breeding them this season this though, season. so we will have some babies, oh yeah. And animals this size can have a bunch of eggs. That is absolutely incredible. Of course, the reason they call them false water cobras is not only they kind of look like a cobra, but they also do have the ability to flatten that neck out. You can see, whoa, you can see the neck has that ability to flatten out almost like a cobra where it'll hood up a little bit and they kind of mock you like you're a cobra. If but if you were in the wild and didn't know a lot about snakes and you came across that, you would definitely think that was a cobra. All right, Brian, so you know about Pitchuopus, right? I do. Well, check this out. We have a black pine snake right there. We got a hypo white sided right there. We have an exantic one right here. We have a northern white pine snake right there. We got a normal one. Of course, you need the normals, right? You got the patternless ones right there. And then we got a nice red albino right there. Is that too much? You got that? I got it. Okay, perfect. I'll leave you be. They're beautiful. All right, we're going to need one of those philosophy dentifolies. Uh, the yeah, the, the Pitruophis uh, catifers Pitru say I yeah, whatever. Can, can we it. just have one? Yes, yeah. okay, fine. Look, I know you guys like them, so ready? This is what I'm going to do for you guys. Right. Go ahead and pick any one you want. You, Ooh, guys you want us to open it? You open it, dude. You open help, it. You got this. Help me read this. Wow. Let's just open it. No. no. Wait, let me help you guys. Here, you here. You guys want a rare one? No. Mm -mm. Those turn that into one's... the black and white ones. All right. So no, you didn't want it. You don't like them. You don't like them. One more. One more. What's that one? That's a northern black and white. That's the same thing. Yeah, we'll take this one. Though. This okay, is the one. This is the one. Dad. Dad. A northern black, black and, and white, white dentrifolis. Dentrifolis. Pitchwolfish. Bless you. <laughs> We're getting it for the reptilian. For the reptilian. Are we? Yeah. yeah. It's our birthday. His name's Marty. You're not really that like Oh my gosh. You mean Marty right all right, Brian, so I know you've been to Australia before, so you can tell me exactly what these are, right? Of course, black-headed pythons, absolutely beautiful animals. Very closely related to Woma pythons, the only two species in the Aspidites genus. And the black heads, of course, are for thermal regulating, but this pair is absolutely something a little special because you can see how white this animal is compared to this animal, and that's because that's an axanthic mutation, recessive mutation. This is actually a het for axanthic animal, meaning that if you breed axanthic to het, you're gonna get about 50% on average axanthic babies like that. Absolutely wonderful, and this is a beautiful pair snake job. This is another snake from Teal Constrictors and I absolutely love it. This is what they would call a lipstick albino arabesque boa. Now the arabesque boas were actually produced by a guy named Steve Hammond in Ohio way back in the day and they're just a really cool pattern and color. Mark. And then of course the lipstick albino was a peat call animal. It just is amazing. The lipsticks basically just have more red in them and the arabesque has this beautiful color. It's just cool. Whenever I see animals like this I have to take a look at them because they're absolutely wonderful. Get it, get it dad. <laughs> this is actually a beautiful gargoyle gecko. Look at this. It's like a red line. There we go. Don't let it go on my shirt. Don't let it go up my shirt. Beautiful. I know what this is. This is a pine island. This is a pine That's island. I don't know. This is a pine island Chihuahua gecko here. You can tell that it's pine island from the pine cone look on the back. Get it, get it, Noah. Noah, get it so it doesn't poop in my eye. Noah, Noah, Noah. Dude, where did it go? 
Dracula. Oh my, there turn around. Dad, we lost a gecko. Did you find the, the pine cone gecko? It literally it. crawled out of my hoodie and I can't find it right now. I think it might be right here. Oh. Where did you get that? Did you get short? <laughs> <laughs> get me. Ah! Oh my God. Oh. You can't come to a collection that has Burmese pythons and not highlight Burmese pythons. This, of course, is an albino granite. What's its name? Gary. 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 Yeah. This is Gary. Perfect name for a Burmese. Listen, I can't thank you for letting us check your collection out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, he stabbed him. He stabbed me with the hook. Not there, not by the jewels, not by the jewels!